Hey guys, Ashley here with Ashley Anderson Creates. Today I'm going to take you on a little tour through my Bible study cart. Alright, on this first here are the items that I reach for the most whenever I'm doing a Bible study. So we'll start here. This little container here, this is from the Happy Planner. This is one of their accessory storage boxes. So I will link some of these down below in the description box. But inside of here, I have this book that I picked up on Amazon. It's 100 Days of Brave. So it's devotions for unlocking your most courageous self. I don't grab this too often. It's really, really good. There's nothing wrong with it. But I've recently been diving into some other Bible studies, but I love having this one here. Um, just to grab something quick because as you can see, like this is day 60 and it's only two pages. Well, three if you count that page, but day 61 is just a couple of pages. So I like this one because it's quick reads, but also 100 Days of Brave. So it's, this is a really good one. And then behind that, I have a couple of other Bible studies. These are from the Daily Grace Company and I recently did a haul video. So you guys can watch that. I'll have it linked down below as well. But this one is on the character of God. It's a study of who God is. And then this one is daily truth. And I really like this one because this is scripture to meditate on in every circumstance. And this one I grab for all sorts of different situations. So we have anxiety and worry, anger, jealousy and contentment, unloved, fear. I mean, there's so many of them down through there. So this one is just an awesome one to have to grab whenever you're filling any of those things. So I have those two there. And then over here, I have my stickers from the Happy Planner. These are my faith stickers. So we have the Praise the Lord sticker book, the Faith Warrior, both in mini, and then this one is in classic. And then I also have this faith sticker book. So I have those there. And then these sticker sheets are from the Happy Planner as well. These came out of their Faith Planner Companion Pack, and I really love these stickers, so I just stuck them in there so I can use them inside of my Faith Planner. Behind that, I have some Happy Notes paper. This is, well, both of these are from the Happy Planner. This is their Gratitude one from their Faith Line, and this is Notes and Things. And I like having these in there just to grab if I want to write down some gratitude, some prayers, praises, and then I can just stick these inside of my planner. So that's what's in that section. And then up here is like my current Bible study stuff. So this one here is Search the Word. This is also from the Daily Grace Company. I am loving this Bible study so far. Probably one of my favorites that I've ever done and I highly recommend it. This one is fantastic if you're just beginning to do Bible studies. Highly, highly, highly recommend that one. So I have that there. This is my faith planner. This is what I am using to journal inside of. And I will do a flip through video of this separate from here, but this is my faith planner. It is also from the happy planner and I absolutely love that. And then behind there, I have a couple of more happy notes. So I like to use these ones whenever I run out of space inside of here. So if I run out of room in here, I have some other happy note sheet that I can grab to take notes on. So that's everything inside of this accessory storage box. Let's stick these things back in there and it holds a lot. And I really love um, these Bible studies from the Daily Grace Company that are the smaller ones because these are easy to take with you. Like, not that I don't mind taking a bigger Bible study with me because it doesn't bother me, but I do love these little ones. And then over here, I have my Bible. This is a She Reads Truth Bible. I also show this Bible in that Daily Grace haul, so if you guys want to check this one out. The main reason why I got it was because of that right there. <laughs> I love a good floppy Bible. So I love this one. It's got tons of awesome things inside of it. Um, it's got different devotionals that you can read. There's maps. There's all kinds of things. I really, really love this Bible. So I keep that over here to the side. And I will push this accessory thing up against it just to make sure it doesn't fall over. And then right down here, I have some washi tape. I picked this washi up on Amazon. I like using washi inside of my spreads in my planner. So I have some there. And then I have 
sticky notes and I got these from the Daily Grace as well. We have Amen, love this, remember I was trying out some highlighters, and then pray this. And I love having these to stick inside of my Bible if I have a prayer or anything like that or want to take notes or whatever. I love having sticky notes. These two are prayer verse card sets. This is prayers for marriage, prayers for anxiety. I got both of these from the Daily Grace Company as well, and I love keeping these inside of here for quick reference. So I have both of those. And then this little pin case came from Amazon. If I can find this one, I'll link it down below. I really do like this one. But back here in the back, I have my Bible highlighters with this little card that has my highlighting system. So this tells me what each card is for. And so I keep that there for whenever I'm highlighting my Bible. I have this pink Sharpie S new. I love using this one inside of my Bible studies. Really awesome. I love Sharpie S notes. I actually have more of them down there. And then I have a few of my pens. My favorite pen to write with currently is the Sharpie S gel in, oh, is it gonna focus? It's in 0.38. There it is. I love these pens. I'll have all of my favorite pens linked down below in the description box. So I have that little pen case right up here. And then let's move to the second shelf. All right, in the second shelf, I have this cute little Ray Dunn container. If you know me, I love collecting Ray Dunn. I love the hunt for it. It's really, really fun. Um, so over here, I have my mild liners. And I like to highlight with these. I like to use these in my Bible studies. Same thing here. I have more of those Sharpie S notes that I like to use in my Bible studies as well. And then behind that, I have my Ohuhu markers. So far, I'm loving these. And if you are subscribed to my channel, you know that I've been using them recently. And I will have a review video coming up. Now, I do not use these inside of my Bible. Um, Normally my Bible cart sits right here beside my desk and I've been using these so I like keeping them right here. It's an easy way to store it and then I know where they are. So that's why those are stored there. And then this container here came from Ikea. I love Ikea containers. And inside of here I have some more prayer cards from the Daily Grace Company. This one is for kids and then we have some other prayer cards here. And then I have my extra Bible studies. My um, Some of these, like the armor of God, I've worked on that one. Um, it is well. I've done that one. Oh, I think this one back here I've done is too, right? Yes, wait. I've done that one. And then this is my old faith planner. It's still in, like I could still use it now if I wanted to. So sometimes I dive into this one, but I've recently switched to that big one. This is a classic faith planner. So I have that one here. And then this is a happy planner guided faith journal which I haven't used yet but I like having it in there because I may end up using it I think this thing is gorgeous it's really really pretty um, and I think this is awesome for beginners you've got memory verses in here and then it has like daily things where you write down each day scripture reading for the day today's prayers I need extra help in this area etc so I really do love their guided journals they are awesome and then I just keep both of those on the shelf. The only bad thing about the, t the tiered tray, sorry, things are falling down, is that sometimes it's hard to get things in and out of the second and third shelf. But I, I seriously, or I kept saying tiered tray, the rolling cart. Um, I really do love my rolling cart though. So that's everything on the second shelf. All right, I'm officially holding my phone. So if it gets shaky, I do apologize. That over there is the um, box that my Bible come in. I just stuck it down there. This right here is a big faith happy note. So it's also from the happy planner. And I think I'm gonna set this up to be like a prayer journal. Um, I have been, I have started like taking some notes and stuff in there. So it might also be for notes, but um, I'm gonna get that one set up in the future. So there's that one. And then this right here is I um, started reading the Bible in chronological order, and this is hard to do one-handed, I apologize. Um, that's notes on the digestive system. I used to use this in nursing school, so um, overlook all of that. Where's my notes at? Okay, so here I started taking notes on um, where I was reading the Bible in chronological order, and I'm still doing that, so I still have this down here. And then below that, 
This is some sticker paper that I have. I have been working on creating my own stickers and I didn't have anywhere else to store this that it wouldn't get bent up. So I thought this was perfect down here and it kind of creates like a little shelf for my note paper to set on. And that, my friends, is my Bible study cart. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I am loving it. I've had it set up this way now for a couple of weeks. And like I said, the best part is that I can take it with me wherever I'm going inside of my house. It's super, super easy to, to travel with. It rolls really, really well. I don't have any problems with it. So I do recommend a cart if you have Bible study supplies and you're constantly changing where you're doing your Bible studies at. And like I said, I will link as much of this as I can down below in the description box. And as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.